This has been a really, really busy week and so exciting mm -hmm. in ramping up to this huge service that we had today. Again, Marco Pelizzeri came on Wednesday night just yeah. to do a That's evangelism awesome. boot camp. <laughs> we were waking up every morning, meeting together with yeah. a team to pray as a group every single morning, mm -hmm. culminating with our prayer, looking over the city on Saturday morning at A Mountain. That was fantastic mm -hmm. to look over the city and give people a vision of the city we're trying to reach. Yes. I'm a big believer in praying together. The power of praying together is, it's hard to measure it. And then just sharing every morning this week, as well as all day on Friday and Saturday. And having right. disciples from other churches come and join us on Friday and Saturday just to help us. Yeah, it was exciting because really our focus evangelistically these past three days was just getting out on campus at the University of Arizona and just having those disciples just get out there. Uh, we door knocked the neighborhoods around the campus. And uh, then Friday night was a real special treat for our mission team. Brian Craig from the Los Angeles Church came and did an amazing song devotional. And then of course today, you know, we were just awaiting just the big service and it was exciting as we saw over 470 people there in attendance. And then it was awesome after the service to all get together and we had a free lunch for everybody that was there. And it was encouraging to see people just in picnic tables talking about their response to the message. We had many, many first time visitors there. It was just a great testament to God's power. Hi, my name is Ben. I'm from the Phoenix Campus Ministry. I moved down here to Tucson because I really want to take my relationship with God to the next level. And I think one of the most rewarding things about coming out here to Tucson is to really see the Bible come to life. It's like living acts every day. We've just been getting together with disciples every day, sharing our faith all day on campus. We made the decision to come out here and uh, God has blessed that decision. And as you can see, we've got a full church. Today's the first Sunday service. And praise be to God, glory to Jesus. It's been so incredible. It's been pretty exciting. It's been challenging. We're really uh, glad we did it. We're so excited that God has called us here to Tucson. We love this city. Mm -hmm. and we're so excited because we know that this is just the beginning. This is the birth today of our church and that only greater things are ahead. We've been praying that God would do something so amazing that it would show us His glory, that clearly it's God behind what we're doing. And that's what we saw today, having over 470 people at the first service. I hope you'll make a decision to go on a mission team at some point in your life there's such a huge need. We've just begun to evangelize the world. There's so many cities, so many areas that need an amazing church. Here's what you need to do if you're considering going on a mission team. Number one, pray about it. Ask God to put it on your heart, to get you inspired, to get you pumped up. You need prayer power. Number two, start sharing your faith. When you go on the mission team, that's all you do. That's very important. But if you're, if you're doing it at home, then you're going to do it on the mission team. Number three, get out of debt. If you're burdened by financial problems, it's difficult to be able to have the room or the ability to go on a mission team. Get out of debt no matter what. Get out. And number four, just do it. <laughs> just do it. Don't live your, your life by fear. Live by faith. There's nothing more exciting than being on a mission team, seeing God at work, doing every aspect of discipleship on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a thrill. We hope in the future that we can work together with other churches as we send out many, many mission teams from Tucson. I hope that you aspire to planting your own church someday.